we make as farmers is uh, not budgeting for food and salaries for our workers. This I will always talk about it. It happened to me. So information that things happened to me when I was starting in 2015. I had around four workers and I could gamble to pay them. I could gamble to feed them. So some of you who are still into formal employment, before you resign your job to join Goat Farming, have you planned for the salaries? Have you planned for the medication for your goats? Have you planned for your travel to and from to the farm? Have you planned for your accommodation? All these are things I never thought about when I was starting. Actually, for me, I thought when I put up a goat structure and I bring in the goats, everything is a done deal. But it was not the case. When you see Boji farms making money out of goats, it didn't start just here. It is something we made a plan for. We made a budget for it. So don't think that you're just going to leave your job and start goat farming right away. You need to think through your decision. You need to think through your budgets. You need to plan ahead. There are quite a number of things you need to plan for. Actually, time, 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 time to time, I would end up parking my car in Kampala and I end up jumping on a taxi because I could not afford the fuel to bring me from Kampala to the farm and then back. For a person thinking about joining farming after you have resigned from your job, please, before you do this, think about this. Have a plan. Make a budget. You can start your car project, but as, at the same time, you are still working there because the money you're getting from your former employment can still help you to run that farm for the first one to two years before you formally start earning something from your farm. One of the gravest mistake most of you farmers make is uh, starting without doing a market research. What products am I going to give to the market? Okay, if customer A fails and maybe they are undervaluing my products, where do I run to? Where is my plan B? Most of you, because you see Boja has farmed goats, I also farm goats. My neighbor has goats, I also have uh, farm goats. I also have goats. Goats have a market, but most of us, we don't do a market research. Basically, we just enter into farming as a by the way. Tunalabideyo, you get it. We shall see from there when we start selling. This is one biggest mistake that most of us, because we didn't do market research, we end up being cheated. I've seen farmers cry at Kalere Market when they bring their goods. For them, they assume that every time you bring your goods to Kalere, you must sell. No, things don't work like that. They are street smart. They will buy your goods cheaply and you end up crying. You get the point. And also still, if you are subjecting your goods for slaughter, before you bring them to the market, average, you know the average weight of the goods. Don't let the brokers decide for you. Every time somebody else makes a decision for you, that is a receipt for you being cheated. So always be in charge of your business. How do you be in charge of your business? Know the nitty gritty about the market you are trying to enter into. You are trying to sell slaughter goats. But you even don't know how much a kid of goat's meat sells in the nearby trading center. That would have been your first point of reference. One other is aspect, most farms usually underlook keeping records. People used to think that goat farming is something to play about. That even when you told somebody that I want to keep records for the goats, they usually laughed about it because it was a business that most people usually laughed about. But of late, if you really want to make it commercial, you need to keep records. What is the importance of records on your farm? Records help you analyze where you're going and where you're coming from. Are you making a profit? Are you making any losses? For example, if you are keeping medical records on a farm, the medical records will help you analyze for example, if there is one particular kind of goat that every month you are always treating, maybe it has an abscess. This month it has an abscess and you are using uh, your antibiotics. Next month it has the same uh, illness. 
It helps you analyze that I'm spending so much money on this goat. Maybe it is time to call it off. But without records, all this is impossible. Even us as human beings, when we fall sick, and uh, maybe the doctors at Rakai Hospital, they fail, or maybe they feel I should be referred to maybe Mulago Hospital. But when I'm referred to Mulago Hospital, the doctors in Mulago Hospital will ask for the records of Rakai Hospital for reference purposes. Here, how do I bring back this point to the goats? If you are having strange illnesses on your farm and you have been using a particular veterinary official, when you invite in another vet to come in, they would want to look at those particular records. What have they been treating? So that maybe if they want to change the regimen of drugs they are using, it is easy for them. But without the medical records, you will be fighting a losing battle as a farmer. These are some of the mistakes some of us make on our farms.